name is Julianne Swartz and the title of my piece is Terrain. I was asked to do a piece for the pavilion area, the entry pavilion. I spent a little bit of time in that space, just a couple hours, and thought about the verticality of the space and um, thought about cutting that verticality with a kind of mesh that you could see through and thought about filling the space with sound, with voices. And I also thought about sound moving around the room because the room has quite a bit of echo to it and you can sort of overhear other people's conversations wherever you are in the room. So I thought about kind of capitalizing on that aspect and almost making like ghosts in the room. This what happens. It's a place it's part of school, right? We can because I asked the volunteers to record for this. I gave them sort of leading questions asking to, to obtain material, but a lot of the material is, is their own. I asked them to hum in a certain way with the breath, and then I asked them to let that tone lead them into a song from their memory. I asked them to imagine someone that they felt tenderness for and whisper as though they were speaking into that person's ear, like what would they say to that person. This is a little bit of a visualization exercise. Well, I generally start out with an overriding concept, like an overriding uh, atmosphere or idea of how I want a space to feel. And then I'll just set about trying to make that happen. And there's lots of, um, lots of experimenting, lots of testing. The way this piece is made, it's 12 separate channels of sound. So it's 12 color-coded nets to distinguish each channel. And each net is made in two pieces. And we had to do a lot of figuring out how to make these nets, you know, to look the way I wanted and also function the way I wanted. The materials are um, primarily wire, 14 gauge, just regular hookup wire. I researched, I probably called all the wire distributors in the country and two out of the country in order to get the colors I needed because I needed 12 colors of wire. You know, and of course I wanted them to be certain shades. And so I ended up having to get a couple of them dyed, but most of them I found commercially available. And then the other main material are speakers. And um, there's a, some hardware, like some connectors, and the sound file, and that's it. It fits in the realm of, of other pieces I've done that use sound in a spatial way. And it also fits into work that I've been doing recently, which is exploring um, sentiment and bringing sentiment into a fine art context, which is a little tricky. I'm interested in artists who are working outside of a gallery context. In some ways where art and social practice meet. I'm interested in, in that. Like um, Paul Chan just did a project in New Orleans that involved bringing a theater group in Harlem to do a rendition of Waiting for Godot on the street at different sites in New Orleans. And I thought that was a really, really interesting project. a German movie I really liked called The Lives of Others. That was good. A naturopath. I'd work with medicine, but probably, you know, some kind of natural medicine. Maybe, um, maybe I might be an acupuncturist or something. I'm interested in chemistry and alchemy and, and healing. Okay, good. Well done. Thank you.